Hi everyone, it's Paola, back with another video, but this time it's different because I have a friend with me! Hello! This is Colleen! Hello everyone, I'm Colleen. She's Colleen and she's amazing. So, we are going to do uh, a video about zines today. A little bit about zines. A little bit about zines because we are both studying graphic design together and we like love zines. I brought Colleen for this video because she's like all about them. She makes amazing I'm, ones. They are my hobby. Yeah. If that's what you would call it. I mean, yeah, but it's like also for your work. Yeah, it's like, I like to think of it as like a, a, a place for all the random art that I like make sporadically a home for all of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. a collection of her art and her work and she like makes different ones for different themes. So, and we were surprised because in our graphic design course, yeah. our school, a plethora of people are not familiar with what a zine is. Yeah, it's kind of weird because you'd think like, oh yeah, everyone's it's pretty into standard. It. Yeah, and like I feel like it, artists tend to know what. Yeah, like zines it's are. a big thing in like all departments of art, like not just graphic design. So we're just like kind of surprised that most people don't know what it is, like even within art. And I'm sure like a lot of people like on YouTube are have like heard of it or maybe like don't even know what it is at all or want to get into it and don't really know where to start so today we thought we'd show you do a little 101 101 I guess it would be over 101 yeah 101 yeah zine 101. I think, yeah zine 101 so here we go lesson one <laughs> what's a zine because I feel like people know what a zine is but they don't know that it's called a zine yeah like they know like a DIY little <clears throat> yeah. magazine but like it's a lot of people don't make the connection between magazine and zine, zine. Same or like word. or like what's it's just a little book that you made it's just a little book and yeah. people are like well does it have to be this does it have to be a zine can be whatever yeah it can be desires. whatever you want like it doesn't have to be like a specific thing like i know a lot of people will know zines from like specific like if it has like a political mm -hmm. like connotation or if it is for like a feminist zine like those are really specific topics i was gonna say to the feminist zine yeah. i think i mean i'm sure they're far older than 96 but i think like one of the oldest zines that i knew of was bitch magazine makes a zine and that's they started making zines in 1996 oh, okay. which is the year we were born were you born in 96 yeah i was born, I was born in 96. 96 we were born in 96 so it was yeah that's like they've been around for a while yeah they're not necessarily like a new thing i don't really yeah. know if they referred to them as scenes back then i think so yeah i think it did start i feel like it was way. like 80s probably or something around people, there like, that people started, started to yeah. like, do diy the, scene, like, the zine scene the zine scene they got on the zine scene real quick they were on top of it yeah technically i think the definition of zine is like a self-published yeah like yeah, I think that's the key term, self-published. Yeah. Self-published. Yeah. So if you're trying to get anything out there, it's just you publishing it yourself into zine form. Right. So it doesn't matter. And distributing matter it without it. like taking a chunk out for the people that are like yeah producing it and like yeah. blah blah because you're producing it all yourself. Yeah, so. you're doing it yourself. You're like you're printing them. You're like handing them out. Finding them. them. Yeah. You're Which we'll get to. Yes, we will get to that. I gotta stop touching my hair. <laughs> so now that you know what a zine is, is basically. Well, sum that up to a self-published anything. Yeah. A well self-published, like... Booklet. Booklet. Yeah. Um, we have examples. We have a few. That will go a little more in depth, but just so you a know, like... Colleen examples. An idea of what they look like. Like, look how fun. These were older. I ended up not doing this stencil for the ones that, like, Paula has one that doesn't have the stencil. Right. Just because it was kind of... And I bought it from her. I paid her money. Paid me money. And I wasn't just like, hey, give me one for free. And I know you can do free zines. People do free zines all the time. Yeah, but she was selling them, and I I'm didn't want to be, like, bucks. the friend that's smooching. You know what that's I mean? That's kind. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, people are like, oh, can I just have one? Or, like, can I have the test print? And I'm like, that's kind of... Yeah, it's like, if you know that your friend is making something for, like, their work, and they want to sell it and you're like their friend you should support them. support the the artist yeah the solo artist yeah it's like these are little like art ones oh wow oh wow, oh, wow. Oh, wow. but yeah and then they're all i will use a different color that would probably be a better idea little bound things i don't know if you can see with my lighting like, i don't know that. if you can see with my lighting. <laughs> i've beauty, always wanted to say beauty that. youtubers it can be as easy as you want and i think you could like I've done collage ones, I've done photo ones, I know people do, like we said, poetry ones, Yeah. drawing ones, like even people will do like a, 
almost like a diary zine where they'll like do daily entries of things or oh, that's a good idea. um you know things like that and it's like for a month or something so it's 30 pages of just like one thought per page yeah. or like one little doodle or one little collage per yeah. page which is I, it's pretty fun yeah and it's a way it's like a creative outlet anyway so if you're feeling like uninspired or like you don't have anything that you want to do or that you don't even know where to start like i feel like just starting with like making zines mm -hmm. is an easy way to like get your mind going you yeah know? or if you have like a big inspiration but you don't know how to condense that into one piece or mm -hmm. like one whatever your media is or your medium you know it's like you get to like explore that idea through like multiple pages which yeah. is really fun yeah. or it could just be like a mishmash of things like this is what I made in July, like, right. and throw that together. And even if you're not confident about sharing your work yet, like, make zines for yourself and, like, keep them. Yeah. Keep them on your shelf and you can use them, go back to them, you know? And that's, like, the fun part because then you see how you, like, grow. Yeah. Too. I don't know. I think, like, anyone in the artistic realm can really just benefit from making zines because it's, like, trial and error, too. And that's the beautiful thing about zines is no one's going to be like, that's a shitty zine. Yeah. I don't know if I'm, sorry. Yeah, I you can swear my on here. It's okay. Oh, my God. It's, zines are for everyone. They're, they're truly are. And That's the, like, the possibilities are, like, literally endless. Yeah. Oh, for sure. It's, it's really very... You, like, went somewhere else. <laughs> I was just thinking they about all the things you endless. could do. I, I had all my ideas that were flowing to me. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I was just gonna say that National Geographic's, oh, this is nice, are, like, everywhere. Like, go to your local thrift store, they'll probably have, if not National Geographic, they'll have old books and things that you can cut up. Yeah. So, Paula and I have both made our little makeshift bubbies. And just to give you these are just like to show but just to give you guys a perspective these are two sheets of eight and a half by 11s folded in half which is a pretty standard size for zines just because everyone has access to eight and a half by 11 paper for the most part um and then we were just going to show you guys how to bind them really quick and it's a very simple process so you're going to want some thread we have embroidery thread here thanks to sweet sweet paula <laughs> and a needle that's pretty much all you need to bind there's binder thread but if you're just making like a casual one for you then it's not that big of a deal um okay so you want to open it to the center fold and just so if anyone that doesn't understand that once you lay your sheets of eight and a half by 11s out and they're folded in half you open it to the very center fold where it's one spread is this making sense yeah and then you take a needle or you if you have like a there's a tool for it, but a needle's fine. And you're gonna wanna poke three holes. And then you're gonna thread. I think everyone also knows that, but if your thread is frayed or hard to get through the needle, just lick it. So I'm going through my center hole here. And you go back, back in through, you can go either side, you can do the top hole or the bottom hole, doesn't matter. It's like personal preference. So a visual here, you went going outwards through the center. Once you're outside, you went up and through the top hole. Now you're back inside. And then you jump over the middle hole to the bottom hole here. I missed my... <laughs> Back out through the bottom hole. And then, this is why it's so easy and so nice. So you just go back out through the bottom and then in again through the middle hole. And then at that point you can unthread your needle because you're done binding. And then, so what you have now, is you can kind of see the process now. You went 
out through the center through this one down to the bottom and back in through the center so you have two like bars of threading Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so now on the inside what you're left with is two ends of the thread and then I like to do one on either side of the thread just to like really hold it in place and then you just tie some knots and then you give it a little trim and you have so basically where you start is whether or not the little cute tie at the end is going to be on the inside or the outside. But then yeah, then you're all bound. And then you have something that is sewn together. And it's very easy. Congratulations, you did it. We did it. Mainly me, but I we, was there. Paula was here. So and there was giving me emotional support the whole time. Mm -hmm. I held her hand. Okay, so that was all we have for you today. Hopefully you oh. enjoyed. <laughs> and we're the same. And we are one. So, yeah. I hope that was beneficial. Yeah, I hope that like you are excited to start making zines. And yeah, I mean, yeah. just keep in mind that like everyone can do it. So at the very least, I hope this video just lets everyone know. Yeah, yeah, it's extremely tangible and something in reach for mm -hmm. anyone to do. Yeah. So let me know if you want to see more graphic design related, art related videos by giving me a thumbs up or a like or whatever it's oh, called. I have my hair. <laughs> That's okay. I have okay. them all the time. I always forget. Um, and then leave me a comment below, like what kind of art that you've been into or what you like. if you have any questions. <laughs> you guys what? like. You know what? I want to hear what, what you like. like. <laughs> Colleen will be answering all the comments below. Yeah, everyone, it's my channel now. Paula's gonna plug me. On yeah. Me, so, so all my clothes. Colleen, <laughs> yeah. Colleen's selling clothes on Depop. So, like, go down in the description. I love clothes. I'm not just, like, buying oh, yeah. stuff. I no. just, like, have... She's, like, super, like... She I just makes, curate them. I, I feel... There's definitely things that don't like fit me that are... I feel, like, not as fashionable when I'm around you because that's how cool you are. And so... That's all You're we very have fashionable. for you. And go follow Colleen on insta and, and buy her clothes and just love paula continuously if you're here you already do so because when you're here your family all of them <laughs> it's not delivery it's paula that should be my style <laughs> very good okay thank you everyone okay, thank bye. you for having me <laughs> bye <laughs>